Uh, we have HTS5 Elite on the bench. Lower range HTS5 Elite. Uh, customer complaint is uh, units dead, so it won't power on at all, I guess. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, we're plugged into the power supply. I don't see any current being drawn right now. I'm going to press the power button at 3, 2. Totally dead. Nothing. Not even a blip on the power supply for current draw. Okay, so let's uh, take this thing apart and see where we're at. So right off the bat, I see some pretty bad corrosion here. Let's have a look under the microscope. I'm not sure the extent of the corrosion... Um, definitely some corrosion. Here, let's check it out. Where am I here? Uh, right there. That looks pretty nasty, huh? And from what I could tell... That's right around the circuit um, that uh, right around the section of the circuit that handles uh, powering on, I believe. I can test that real quick. Taking a pair of tweezers and Okay, so I think we have absolutely no power coming to this board. Let's see. Now we got 12 volts coming in. Let's clean that up and see what that is.
Well, we got some current draw now, so power on. Got about two, three hundred million screens drawn. I'm not sure if it's booting properly. Uh, the normal chirp uh, isn't being heard, so I'm gonna throw this thing back in the the display, the front case, and um, see what's happening. Okay, uh, we've got the power supply on in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, yes. Excellent. Uh, we did take off a little filter, filter cap there. We're gonna, or decoupling cap, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna pop that back on. We're actually going to replace it because oh, that cap is bad also. But check it out. Excellent. So we're going to let this thing fully boot. Oh, look at that. It's already booted. Works good. Let's see if power. Power works good. And that's what it was, guys. There was a shocky diode on the input side of the power supply. That was bad. Uh, and we're good to go. Awesome. Uh, anybody has any fish finders? Uh, lower ants work on a ton of lower ants, so uh, send them in. Uh, lower ants, Garmin, Hummingbird, um, or any electronic devices. You can go to our website. That's www.rudolphrepairs.com. Uh, you can email us. That's uh, probably the quickest way to get a quote and to get a hold of us. Uh, RudolphRepairs at gmail.com. Uh, if you'd like, you can give us a call. 1-800-517-9101. Uh, if you have any custom projects or ideas or inventions you wanna you want to um, have prototyped, uh, feel free. Uh, let us know what you have. Uh, don't feel something is uh, too small or too big of a project. We've done all kinds of stuff here, and we're always uh, interested to to work on new stuff. All right. Until next time, guys. See you.